Roland was a courageous, determined, and energetic young man who drove himself to be the best he could be. This commitment and excellence earned him the respect of his teammates, classmates, and coaches. These traits left a lasting impression on those who knew him. The Victory Bell has become a part of a rich and proud athletic tradition. After each victory, the team gathers to ring the bell in a salute to the victory as well as to Roland and the courage and determination he exhibited in his life. That tradition is carried on year to year, team to team. As with any part of history, we must preserve the past, connect it to the present, and pass it on to the future. And that was written by Coach Bill Kime. Welcome back to the stadium, everybody. Tom Duke and Dick Mester ready for another season of Sturgis Trojan football. This one, 2012. Trevor, go down. Go down a little bit. On the spot. On the spot. down and eat. Another handoff. And the football's loose back at the five. I'll stop by Sturgis. And past the half goes into the end zone for a Trojan touchdown. <laughs> How would you say the game of football has changed from when you coached to, to what you watch today? It hasn't changed a whole lot. Still blocking, still tackling. Team that blocks and tackles the best usually wins. They're slow, they're tired, right? You can beat that guy. Beat him with speed. Pass, left side, intercepted. Picked off by Jack Keywood. And the Trojans take over with 3.9 left in the hand. There he is. Hand off. That's the fullback. And Matt Phillips is going to rush in the near front over the end zone for a 34-yard score. Get your hands on the ball. Get your hands Likes to call draw play back to Alexander. He's at the 10, cuts it back at the 5, dives for the end zone, got touchdown it. Sturgis. What a play call by Jimmy Lamb, and what execution by the Trojan. And boy, I'm telling you, Alexander looked like he had a jet pack on. If I were uh, coaching today, I would, I would be passing and uh, like there's throwing today and I'd 
definitely would be passing if I had a quarterback like Chance Stewart. I think that he is just an outstanding quarterback. Some nights I stay up cashing in my bed. Some nights I call it a drum. Chance, oh boy, he hand shot right through the line. He weaved his way past and then threw a ball at far sideline. And it's caught over there by Patrick Haas for a Trojan first down. We're down to 17 seconds. Stewart throwing over the middle. Got him in. Caught. Breaking a tackle. Turning the corner. Trying to infend him. He's at the 10. He's got him. What's that? What a run by Sherman. There's nobody in this conference that could throw a ball that Chance just threw right there. That ball was thrown the absolute only place it could be thrown. From now on, 24 surges. First and 10 from the gun. Over to Mano. Come on! He's trying this time out his hands it. He's a big deal. And he's going to outrace the secondary. Yeah, he's going fast. Here he goes. 76 yards for a Trojan touchdown. The bench is going crazy. Look at this. Six-yard line. Stewart unloads it deep down the right sideline. There's a penalty. He caught, caught it anyway. Right into the end zone. Got the hard touchdown is Calvin Bowden. Coldwater was my biggest rivalry when I, I coached. I loved to win that silver football and leave it on my desk and look at it every day. Uh, it didn't go in the trophy case. It stayed right on my desk. Second, I, I need to get my story straight. My friends are in the Everybody's back. given everything they got to let these seniors walk off this field five and four. That is your goal. That is your mindset right now. All right? We take care of business on both sides of the ball with that ultimate goal. And you do that, everything else will fall into place. All right? I'm excited, a little nervous, you know? But understand this, you go out there and you play to the best of your ability and you go 100 miles an hour. You do what you can coach to do all season long and everything else will take care of itself. All right, let's go, let's go. What do you think makes a good football player? Well, intelligence, speed, quickness, size helps too. I've had some, uh, I've had some pretty good players in my lifetime.
Dave Dillon and I both like to play cold water and defeat them. I get fired up sometimes. I enjoy watching football and uh, I enjoy watching Sturgis. I kind of fell in love with Sturgis football. Sturgis football is important football. Closes and you feel like falling down. I'll carry you home tonight. Open Gangnam Style. Lopez, low line drive kick, might have hit the leg of one of the up men, but it's fielded at the 19 yard line by Lloyd Norix, breaking a couple tackles. And then Matt Phillips says the run stops here at the 31. Oh, what a stick by the junior. Stewart goes under center this time on third and goal. Back to Alexander. Alexander untouched, six points, Sturgis 20 to 12. Man, you can play Alexander's ragtime band now, Tom. That was a beautiful runoff left tackle. And let's give some credit to Morgan Solly, the sophomore, 299, and Cole DeHaze, 
the sophomore, 245 pounds, the left guard and tackle. They did some heavy-duty blocking over there. Also, Tyler Bennett at the end position. Come on in here. Come on in here. Alexander's ragtime band. Peel goes under center this time. He's got three backs to his right. Throwing over the top. Tip, tipped, and intercepted. And it's Brendan McConnell that comes out of the pack with it. Wants the snap. Fakes. He's in trouble. Alexander oh, had nearly way. had him wrapped up. And now the second man in is Luke Summy. And Summy's huge defensive night continues. The Trojans take over on downs all the way up at the 45-yard line. Phillips is into the end zone. From three yards away, Mitch Phillips ends Chris Alexander's streak, and now oh, we got all sorts no. of flags dropped in the he end zone. It and they gave him a foul. I can't believe that. He spiked the ball. You can't him... do that. You can't spike the no, ball? No, you can't do it. No oh, sort of celebration. Well, Dick? he did spike the ball. He didn't do anything else. I'm saying that's a penalty? I think I'm going to have to write a letter to the MHSAA and <laughs> see if I can get that changed.